Hello everybody, Genghis Wolves here. And before we hop in game, I want to go over a couple things. So basically, over the last weekend, um, we had times two for every game, um, and combining that with bonuses here and uh, clan bonuses, I was able to do the entire 295 grind. Um, I already had the gun research from the T30 and so on in 64 games. Um, and I wanted to make a quick review of the tank after the grind, basically. Um, so I ended up with a win rate of nearly 86%, although obviously with that amount of game, that's not that indicative. But I really did have a bunch of um, uh, carries and so on. 3.2k average damage per game, uh, nearly 1,300 average experience, and eh, only 400 damage with my assistance, right? But just to give you kind of a quick overview of where in general I was, and yeah, 64 games, like I said. Um, I ended up playing it like this for most of the grind, or at least the last two thirds, aka okay, Rammer, Vents, and a Super Heavy Spore Liner. At the beginning I ran first with uh, no, a Camo Net, then Optics instead of the Super Heavy Spore Liner. But I was getting, I mean, I get shot by RT quite a lot, and I also get focused a lot by RT. Um, and the TN92 was still doing like 500-600 damage to me, uh, before I had the Super Heavy Spore Liner. And after I put it on, I really have gotten way less damage by RT. With a lot of like the two uh, batchet artists and so on, and what your artists just doing zero damage, frontly and same for E100 with HE, you know, whatever reason, um, and so on. So it's definitely worse than idea, uh, at least to think about it. To use the super heavy spawnliner, I think a gun laying drive is an option. Here it is. Optics are an option. Camo net, binox. Um, that's kind of up to you. Rammer, I think, is definitely an obvious choice. And vents, I would very strongly recommend, but. You could maybe also go like Rammer, Gun Laying Drive, and I don't know what, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that, and aside from that, I don't know, my crew is over here. Um, let's go, in-game. Um, so yeah, we are here on Runeberg. Uh, as you can see, it's a shooting game, definitely not the best matchmaking at all. Uh, I mean, it could be a bit worse. The map is pretty good, but otherwise the matchmaking is really quite horrible. Um, my platoon mate is near to 9 scout. Um, not too important though for this battle really. Um, as you're gonna see, Jack Panzer is deciding to push me for whatever reason. The enemies have two E100s, an I7 and an E4 as tier 10s, right? Which is way more, I'm gonna say, armor than we have. Um, I decide to, I don't know what he's doing, but yeah, I decide to go having AP loaded. Shoot that guy on the side. Um, and loading ABC off the next shot. The enemies definitely have a, more of a city team, right? It's not hugely so. We do have a bunch of tier 9 heavies, we also have our own Jack Panzer, our E100, we have myself, and so on, so on, so on. Um, but the enemies should definitely have the advantage in the city, so that's why I'm going quite defensively over here in the back, uh, behind this rebel. Whereas, if we would have more heavy tanks and so on, I would probably be more aggressive over here and trying to push in more immediately, right? I managed to get two nice shots into the E100s, one was AP, one was APCR. Um, I'm not going to feel bad shooting APCR if I'm fighting two heavy tanks on your higher. Um, so, I don't know, he's, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's peeking out, trying to side trip. Was he unspotted, actually? Oh, damn. Okay, well, I guess this really goes to show you how good the camo on the T95 is. Because that's really one of the tank, uh, one of the things you have to know about this tank. The view range isn't extraordinary, it's your ha uh, average TD of view range. But the camo on the T95 is nearly as good as that of, really, the highest, uh, you know, camo tanks in the game. Like, it's not quite the 25 levels. But for some reason, the T95, and similarly the T123 also, has really, really good camo. Which is why using a camo net can be very useful, which also makes it a very good sniper in Mathlight for Karofka. Because even at 200 meters or 150 meters behind the bush, you're going to be unspotted, just like if you were in a slight tank. It is quite uh, quite funny like that. So I see the 704 there. As you saw, I managed to give a shot to the 90, I think that was also, right? Um, yeah. Uh, so that was pretty cool. But our team is down 0 to 3, having lost 2 tier 10 out of the 5 we had already. So that's really not so cool. I want to push here, but it's quite tricky because of the 704 in the back. But then I notice that the se um, bat chat and so on are pushing over there. Um, bat chat there. So I know that 704 is going to go have to fall back. And I can push here. Why do I want to push? Well, we've just lost a field. We definitely need to go aggressive and crush these super heavy tier 10s they have. In my eyes. Uh, so that we have a chance of then taking on the rest of their team, right? If we leave these guys alive and then they start having crossfire from everywhere and coming back and starting to cap. Uh, for example, if these guys are still alive but we have to rush back to defend cap. Um, I did a pretty bad shot there, I think. No? I even saw. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, I decided to ignore the 100 right in front of me. Because I wanted to do a full damaging shot and go for the M103. Which is good, uh, since it could have been quite tricky too. And I expected my team to kill him. 
or at least make him like very low life, you know, like. But I guess that took a bit longer. So um, I'm going quite aggressive here, right? And this is really voluntarily. I could be standing here and playing it more so, but I'm, I am assuming these guys are not going to be panning too much because I am a 1995 front lead. I'm doing my best to wiggle as much as I can. As you can see, yeah, I'm really constantly trying to wiggle to make my capotas a bit harder to hit. Unless I'm just about to shoot. And we managed to take out these guys, evening up the score to 7 to 7. The 7 of 4 over there is still alive, but about to die. Um, but the enemies are capping. So we need to come back. And it's quite tricky because there's a WZ there in our side. And I don't even have a turret to like shoot him on the move, so. Yeah. Um, really, I find that the five to be quite a good tank now with a speed buff. Uh, with a really strong frontal armor. You have a really good gun. As you can see, you have a 14.34 second reload with Rammer, Vents, Brothers in Arms, and Cola. So I guess without Cola, it's around 15 uh, and a half or so. Watch this. Okay. Um, and uh, you have 276 pen on the AP shell, 320 sh uh, pen on the APCR shell. And that just makes it for a really, really good gun. Like, you have more, you have a better reload than any 100. It's sure lower. With arguably, yeah, that's the shot I meant, by the way. Uh, are you good armor? Arguably better armor than the 100, obviously less uh, HP, right? Um, but sometimes your team is just too fast and you get no damage, and you have no turret, and that's really annoying. So the T10 peaks over there, and I managed to get a nice shot into him. But I notice I have a WZ behind me who's trading with our email, but he's gonna kill him soon, probably. And there's a crossfire of also the RU and so on. So I decide I'm gonna have to push forwards and try and take out someone, and the only one I see like I have a chance to take out is a Leo. And since a Leo, is also the enemy with the best gun, at least over those right here. Actually quite good, I managed to take him out. Because he was hiding there, that's why also like, instead of pushing right along like this, since he was hiding behind that wreck, I made sure to push like this diagonally, so that then he couldn't hide anymore. Um, and I'm gonna try and defend the 100. Oh, Jackpot has started capping, but this game really isn't over. He's a one-shot, I'm basically a one-shot. I mean, I am a two-shot, but if I shoot and they rush me, I'm dead, right? Um. So basically, I get to shoot once and then I die. And the Jack Panther, well, he's on his own. He's a Jack Panther, I always know how that goes. So basically, my goal right here is to buy as much time as I fucking can. Um, pardon the language. So that my Jack Panther can keep capping and they have to rush back, for example, right? If I manage to hold them here for long enough, maybe they won't be able to um, come back from behind or oh, have to come from one angle. That would already be good. So the rule's coming behind me. I'm not sure if he's going to try and rush me or not. But I decide to go... I, right, I saw the Rue going over here, that's why right now I'm driving forwards, because I want to bring this rubble between me and the Rue, um, and then just be aiming frontly that way. Although obviously if he really comes in that wouldn't work. But he just decides to drive across, and I notice that. And then I notice even that the Skoda seems to be gone, so I'm going to turn there, and manage to give him a nice snapshot. Um, and then yeah, that leaves a T10 right in front of me. I hope you're not getting confused by the switching between free camera and uh, fixed camera, but... Uh, the T10 tries to rush me, and that means that he's shooting HE, by the way. And did there a damage there? Right. Why oh, is that not showing here? Anyway, uh, I managed to block him, and what's really important in the T95, that's also one of the things I really learned, uh, back from the good old times, is to hug walls, uh, be it, you know, building walls or mountain walls or rocks, really all the time, because that's really the only way you're going to be able to not get rushed. You just turn too slow, you don't have, like, a partial turret, like in the T28 or in the Waffle or so on. Or even in the open, when the scout or a medium rushes you, you manage to, to outplay them, right? In T95, even a slow heavy can really flank you on, and, and keep circling you unless you have a wall. But yeah, um, I don't know, really, I would say go grind the T95 and the E3 um, and the T... Well, if you're at all interested in the E3, the T95 and the T28 are really quite good currently, both because of the buffs and the RT nerfs um, and the current meta with a lot of heavies and so on. You don't need to spam... APCR much, at least not in my eyes. Um, let's have a look at the post-game stats, by the way. Some APCR shells are nice to use in, obviously, you know, tier 10 games to, to be able to carry even there, just like I was able to do here, doing 6,775 damage and amassing 5 kills. Um, so out of my 16 shots, I hit 14 and pen 12. And I also blocked 2.2k. Um, managing to make 100,000 uh, credits with both Normal credits and uh, credit boost from strongholds, making me make a bonus of 40k in total. Although that's with consumables on half price, yeah. I wouldn't use a big rep kit normally with consumables not on half price, but they were, so. 
I decided to go ahead and uh, with all the bonuses, like they say, that made for a nice 8000 XP game. Um, and that's pretty much how I managed to get the grind done so quickly. I really had everything in this tank. I had games with zero damage because I was just driving forever, uh, because my team was just winning too fast. You do have a couple games also where you have zero damage or maybe one shot of damage, but because your team just dies and like you don't even start fighting and you already get rushed by eight people and half your team is dead, you don't understand what's happening and it's over. Like you, you're just so to get to the fight. But I had a lot of games which I was able to carry was you know four or five, maybe six thousand damage. A couple of great games like this. In games where you top tier, you really are a beast. RT isn't too much of an issue. Um, and yeah, obviously it's a bit slow. But if you play aggressive, I manage to deal with it. But okay, and remember to we go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe, comment, and so on. I'm finally done with my exam since like two days ago, so hence this video. I still have a couple days of being busy because I'm moving back to Berlin and so on. But then hopefully over the summer, I'm going to be uploading daily with a bunch of content and so on. But yeah. Um, thanks for bearing with me. Subscribe, like, see you next time. Bye bye. Gengis here.